Okay. Um, we're going to start uh, presenting our portfolio number four with my partner, Luis Enrique. I'm Samantha. And we're going to start with the first part of the portfolio answering this question. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is Luis Enrique. What's yours? My name is Samantha. Just Samantha. Just and Samantha? And what's your surname? Just, no, just, no. Just, comma, Samantha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm asking, like, just Samantha? Like, only uh, one yes. name? Yes, it's a, it's a little boring. Just Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I wish I had another name, but it's just Samantha. Blame. Such a blame. <laughs> well, what's your surname? My surname is Hernández Reina. Uh, what's yours? Uh, Rosas Majek. That's my surname. Majek is more interesting than some, than Rosas. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's what I was going to say. Like, Majek is the first time that I hear, like, the last name of Majek. It's the, it doesn't exist. What's the surname uh, invented by my grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... Talking about surnames, how do you spell your surname? So my surname, I will say that it, it spells like H-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-C, uh, Hernandez. Yeah. Uh, and yours? My surname is R-O-S-A-S -S and um, M A. Y A E K. <laughs> yeah. uh, I usually uh, spell my surname because nobody can write it correctly. Some people write it as Mayer or Hayek, everything except Magic. That's, um, that's going to be like a pain every time <laughs> that you say all your, your last name. Yeah, it is. So basically, where do you live? Where do you come from? I'm from Tampico and I'm still living here in Tampico. And you? Uh, I'm I'm from sorry. I'm here. I'm from Ciudad Victoria, but I will say that I I come from San Luis Potosí. Mm -hmm. Because my my parents used to live there and nowadays I live here. But I was born here in Victoria. Okay. You're Victorian. Yeah. Uh, I... do you work? Or, or are you a student? Or both? Well, uh, I was a student. I just got egress from my college. And nowadays, I, I just work on my own business. Uh, I really want to work in in a despatch of architects. But let's see what, <laughs> what will the future desires to me. And you? Tell me, what about you? I'm studying a degree in education in the what? And I have, uh, I didn't say this before, but I have my own business too. It's about nails. Uh, I'm a nail, uh, nail artist and I paint nails and apply fake nails, acrylic nails, and it's called Grecas. <laughs> Ooh. So it's both. Interesting name. Um, do you study English? At school? Uh, Are... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> both of us are studying this lab, so I will say that I answered the question for both of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> also the question of do you have a job? We also have a job. We, we work in our own businesses. But I will have like another question. What What will be your dream job? My dream job, <laughs> be an actress, it's easy. I always wanted to be an actress, but I couldn't because my parents didn't, um, they didn't wear, wear um, like, how do you say? Oh, no, I, they, I, they don't like that, that world. And I have a, a aunt, aunt that yeah. is an actress and Oh, she also studied at the uh, CEA, mm -hmm. the school from Televisa, and she's a small actress, and she didn't re 
don't recommend that career. So my parents didn't want to um, that I study that, but that's my dream now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And mine, I will say it. Um, if if money is not a problem, I will say like a race car driver. I'm a huge oh. fan of uh, motorsports. Yeah, you have the face of a NASCAR <laughs> competitor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Ladies first uh, on the question number eight. Well, we have to answer these questions. Well, these last questions. Uh, what would you prefer? go one by one or just a few questions we don't have to answer all that questions because we only have to this part two for uh for two to four minutes them, like two, two minutes yeah and we are 5 39 yeah don't worry it, okay. it's like they they don't usually regulate the time <laughs> that we talk okay well so just I, I will make you the question of do you live in a house or, or an apartment? I live in a house, a small house, but in a house, and you? Uh, I live in a medium sized house, uh, but I really want to live in an apartment. I think it's better. Looks great on the pictures, like San Pedro's apartment, so it's so bigger and, and nice. Yeah, they they be really comfy. <laughs> Um, I want to know, what did you enjoy doing at the weekends? Well, basically, I will say that, that I enjoy doing on the weekends is making a barbecue, as we mm -hmm. know as carnitas asadas, <laughs> uh, probably watching or doing uh, things about my business. Like, if I don't know how to, how to wash a certain type of sneaker, I will watch in YouTube, like, how to care about suede or notebook or like any material and if I don't have anything to do I would like to sleep on the weekend to pick up energies to the week and you? Yes. I like I'm so close to my family so I like to spend time with them at the weekends because my parents have their, their free days uh, mm, Sunday and Saturday, so I like to go out with them or do something cool on those days. Go to the beach or see my parent, my grandparents, or something like that. Hey, that's great. well. Yeah. So we are finished this part one of the portfolio. Now we are going ahead to the part two with this statement. <clears throat> you won. This is for uh, both of us, okay? Yeah. You won a competition to visit a new country. You are going to travel together for one week. Talk together about where you would like to go and decide which place you will choose, okay? We can choose a place from these pictures or not. We can choose whatever we want. Okay, so we are going again. We want a competition to visit a new country. Where will we go? Can I see the pictures? Hmm? Uh, I have a great, great decision between uh, Paris or Greece. Like both, both of, of those places are really interesting for me as an architect because they are like a soul for the architecture, for, sorry, for the Asian architecture. And it's like, well, I'm, I'm going there to grab such a motivation or like inspiration to design in, in my projects. Uh, but I'm not a huge fan about, <laughs> about those type of food, like the Greece and the Parisian food. It's like, mm, I'm not a huge fan. So I will choose Italy that it's on the top right corner. Italy, it's great. I will choose. Um, I don't know. I always wanted to go to uh, New York because we buy this idea of the big city of the well, Big Apple is that a word? Yeah. Uh, that we saw in the movies, like oh, the big 
the perfect city. I know that isn't perfect, but I have an idealization of that city. Uh, New York is one of them, but I think I will choose. Uh, I don't know if that's the word for English, but India uh, with the Taj Mahal because I love it. I love that. I don't know. I think it's peaceful. I I don't know. There is something that likes uh, about um, the, the Taj, Taj Mahal. Mahal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know I'm a, I'm a huge hater of India. I, I don't like India. I don't no, like I, I don't like the culture. I don't like the food. It's such a noisy place for me. But I know that the Taj Mahal is like a really nice place. Yeah. Yeah, India could be um some people don't like it like it before because the people, well, this is a This is, I think it's the most, uh, how, how do you say, uh, uh, the country with most population, I yeah. think it is. And some people said, say that Indians smells not great because of the, of their spices. I don't know if, if that is true. I've never smelled a Indian, <laughs> but... <laughs> But I like it. Um, I always wanted to to go there. I like that kind of countries, and they they said the people that visit uh, India said that you learn a lot about that place. I want to go there. Hey, that's great, honestly. And we have uh, the part three of the uh, portfolio that is. Um, would you prefer A or B? Choose a, a letter, A or, or B. Uh, I would say A. A. So you have this picture. Uh, tell me for one minute straight about what you see in this picture. I'm not going to say anything. Ju just talk. You talk. Well, so as long as I can see in the picture, I will think it's a Africa or like a place a place in mid east near uh, Africa due to the skin tone of the persons and the uh, how do you say it? the type of plants and trees that are located on the on the soil. Uh, I see that they are uh, farmers. I think they are cultivating. Uh, no, it's no chips. Is green peas? Yeah, I think there are peas or green peas. And as long as I can see, most of them are women. And the only ones that are carrying heavy items are the men. So that, that speaks that they are working in a really nice organized team. Uh, another point that I can see is that there is no modern equipment like tractors or sor sorgilleras. Uh, I don't know how to say the, the name in English. I'm sorry. And as long as I can see uh, all of the work that they are doing, it's handmade. They are picking up every item and cutting off from the plants and putting them in, in, the, in those baskets. Sorry. And yeah, that's basically all that I can see and analyze in the picture. Well, my picture is this one. And what I can see is that there is a huge number of wi women. We ha I have, uh, I, I have, I have seen uh, a lot of, of women, just one boy and Of course, it looks like a laboratory. So this is a different kind of job. This is uh, may maybe they are um, doing a research about something. I don't know if a disease or just a kind of investigation, but it looks like a great. Um, well, I I'm also I'm not sure if they are they are working. They can be working, but 
for the the clothes of them it looks more like um students for example the boy uh in the middle of the picture it's wearing pants and sneakers and looks like oh maybe it's a practice a kind of practice and the girls well jeans could, it could work uh, for the work but i don't know if there are students or workers but uh looks like a nice job or a nice work work uh in a laboratory doing research now um the part four of uh, this portfolio it's uh, talk about the kind of job of jobs you want to have and find out why you enjoy these jobs okay so who starts first you or me uh, I would say ladies first okay. because I always start <laughs> <laughs> as I said my dream job if I can say it like that it's to be an actress. I always wanted to be uh, something like that. I enjoy musicals and this uh, plays, uh, musical plays. When I was in high school, I uh, made a play with my my partners, and I really enjoyed made the the script and it's not the script the word but yeah make the all the things that have to be had to be with the the work and but my dad wasn't um wasn't happy of that i choose that career they preferred that i choose something more common like education or an engineer, uh, an engineer to be an engineer, or something like that. And finally, I've chosen to be a teacher, a education and technologies for the learning. But yeah, my my dream job or the kind of job that I want to have it's to it's a, something that I have to be with acting. And why? I don't know why. I I it's just a wish that I have inside of me. I don't have the, a reason, a certain reason, just it's something that I want. And you, what's your dream job? Um, I would say that the new work that, in, that inquires to work with the hands, like being handy and designing any aspect. So for example, I would love to work with cars because like cars and watches are like my main <laughs> most desired things on 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 my on my mind like i really like watches and, and and cars and i will think that working as a mechanic in a racing team or something like that will be perfect for me because i have the interest and i know something about them and in the aspect of something related with my with my career i will say that uh, maybe as an architect because well that, that inquires design and having my own taste on on every project or maybe if houses and buildings are not so prospect on the future i would say that working as a designer for elements of the houses like uh, furniture bed tables coffee tables like Anything that requires that design and building them, but with the architectural aspect of one of them. It's a nice job. Uh, it, being, I think that being an architect, it's an interesting job. Yeah, for real. It's it's like it's tedious in the aspect of like knowing every aspect of how I'm gonna design an item, but once you get the knowledge of well every chair has to has the length of like half a meter or I don't know any heights that, that they have you can start to design in your own mind every every furniture or element without having to worry if it has the same sorry if it has the right uh, measures 
well, we are out of time, <laughs> but that was the portfolio. Anything that you want to say? No, it's 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 fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're done. Thank you, teacher, for for watching this. <laughs> so yeah.